Hello and welcome to Stockwatch, presented by me, Evan Lucas, for Go Market Securities. As always, please, a very good read through of the disclaimer on screen. Everything in this video is general in nature. None of which relied upon as any form of personal advice. Go Market Securities does not know your personal scenario, nor your personal financial goals, and therefore none of which relied upon as any form of advice at all. It's just general in nature only. I want to really dig into a very interesting conundrum that is going on in nickel, and therefore the nickel plays inside of it. If you haven't seen it, Andrew Forrest's YO Group has actually had to mothball, or as they call it, put it into care and maintenance, its $760 million investment into nickel in WA. Now they only did this six months ago, and this goes hand in hand with what we've been seeing across the whole industry in the fact that mothballing of nickel mines is getting basically the norm. They're also now at a crisis point where you've actually seen players that would normally argue against each other, BHP, Glencore, YO Group and also IGO come together and start talking to the government about helping them out with production tax you know, credits, some form of government royalty handouts, overall sort of system production and system maintenance to make sure that Australian nickel particularly remains competitive. Now, why has this happened? Well, for those of you that don't watch what goes on in global politics, Indonesia is the story here. Indonesia has been ahead of the nickel story for a long time. And the reason I say that is that it saw itself as becoming the absolute hub for the what's referred to as the Volt Revolution, the basically the electrification of transportation across the globe and also the storage of household energy across the globe. And what it did was that back in 2017-18, it made a policy banning any form of exports of nickel outside of the country, forcing companies to therefore do their production and actually all of their overall material handling in nickel inside the country. The kicker they got from that is that they didn't just do the nickel mining and refining, they got to use the, uh, the product around coal that they produce there for the electricity. So the question that comes with this is that is nickel the future story? And does a BHP, does an IOG group recover from what's currently going on? That is the question to ask you this year because clearly it's showing signs that it's under pressure. The question is, is it structurally under pressure forever? That is what we're going to watch in the earnings season and it's why IOG Group, BHP's fourth pillar and the overall space, I think is one of the core things to listen to coming up.